What's going on guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we are bringing a new series to the channel called Reaction Bites, where I'm going to be taking different content that I find on social media platforms and I'm basically going to be reacting to it and giving it my own opinion on it. And basically, we're just going to open up discussion on certain things that I find interesting. And today, we are starting off with the new Working Class Zero communion video. So let's just jump right into it. Oh my god. Holy crap. That was absolutely insane. <laughs> he's just swatting at the fish. <laughs> wow. And right off the bat, I mean, the opening part of this video is just insane. The first 30 seconds, you get this incredible topwater eat right next to the boat that just breaks them off. It's that intense. So insane. That's insane. He literally got his bait back, retied it on, and caught that fish that he was literally trying to scare away earlier. Unbelievable. Just the first minute of this video, it's already fast paced, super fast action. It's already got me super intrigued. I mean, it's such a unique take on bass fishing. What was actually just going through my mind right now is this twice now already in this video that he is broken off. It almost seems like the line that Gilbert's using isn't really that good if he keeps breaking off on fish. Granted, he does use some pretty light line. I know he's fishing 17 pound and 20 pound fluorocarbon, but guy breaks off a lot, which is kind of out of hand. Such a giant bass. So I mean, to kind of get more in depth with the video in and of itself and what makes this, ver this very video unique is just the style of the video where nowadays a lot of the bass fishing videos that you see out there, they're pretty lengthy videos. There's a lot of slow motion, a lot of casting shots. And it's very cinematic, but just in a very long, drawn-out form. And it's very, very well done. Any of the fishing bass fishing videos that I've seen at a very much higher level are really, really good. But what's cool is Mike Gilbert, the fisherman in this video and the editor of this video, he used to actually work at Thrasher Magazine for a good chunk of his life. So he comes from the skating side of it all, and he's converted what he learned and how he filmed and edited stuff from like filming skate parts and has transferred it into these bass fishing videos which before and even still now nobody's actually really doing so it makes us feel very punk very different than how a traditional bass fishing video would go down and to top it off is he's catching giant bass on big swim baits and I'm pretty sure everybody in the world wants to see big bass and big swim baits used at the same time. So he's able to blend both of those elements and has made some incredible videos. This is not the only video that he's done in the past where he's made it this exact style. It's just, it's a treat to be able to actually watch this. And in that last kind of segment, what he's done before in the past, like his battles video that he's done, I'll leave a link to that up here, is he's able to combine GoPro footage because I think 99% of the time he's fishing alone and he just runs GoPro. One in the back, one in the front, and two on the sides. 
but he will hire filmers like this guy here. His name is Luke Brasher, who did a really fantastic job on this filming part of this video. But he'll get Luke to film certain aspects to try and recreate and add some filler from different perspectives. Like there'll be shots of Luke on the bank, right? And that'll give the perspective of another fisherman maybe that day seeing like, oh, that's what that would have looked like from this fisherman's perspective of when I caught this fish. Or they'll throw up a drone and get a shot of what, what a bird would see if it watched Mike Gilbert catch a fish. So it's cool that he's able to kind of recreate some of these shots and also blend it in with the GoPro and he does it very seamlessly. <laughs> That's one of the funniest parts about this entire video is something that I've gone through and probably a ton of other fishermen have gone through are birds of prey trying to steal your bait. I've had plenty of eagles and hawks and even owls try and steal some of my swim baits before. So that little section just kind of shows like you're not even top predator out there. You're not just trying to fool the bass with the baits, but the birds are also getting fooled by some of these baits and it's just a great little moment in this film <laughs> that hook sets insane <laughs> that's on a hard bait that's the hinkle trout one of my favorite swim baits of all time and i know gilbert loves throwing that hinkle trout as well and well he catches a 13 pounder here on it which is insane such a giant bass yeah that's insane so this video has multiple giant bass in it and it's all done really really well i mean that in that case he's caught in that fish twice and actually a couple more times that i've talked to him about it but i mean catching it in 2019 at 11 pounds to catching it on a completely different spot in lure at two years later and it's 13 pounder like that's just an insane story and there's a bunch of mini stories in this video. I'm not gonna show the entire video because I want you guys to like check it out yourselves, but there's a lot of cool like little stories that are in this one big story and it's all captured super, super well. Oh my God, jeez. Oh my gosh, that fish absolutely smashed it. Yeah, another giant. Jeez. What an insane video. And it's only four minutes and 20 seconds long. Basically, not a whole lot of talking. The only talking was really in the beginning of the video. And it's fast paced, fast cuts. It's a video where for me, I've had to watch it quite a few times to pick up on small things. I am a filmer and a fisherman at the same time. So this type of video gives me a lot of inspiration. One, to try and catch a giant bass like Gilbert does, but also to film it in a cool and stylistic way where it's not just your typical, you know, long form, a bunch of talking type videos, which Again, they're not bad, but it's just nice to have something different and unique brought into the bass fishing realm of videos. And so this right now, in my opinion, is the best bass fishing video ever made. Unfortunately, nobody's really talking about it just because I don't think people have found it yet. And so hopefully this video will get you guys to go over and watch this amazing film. It's by far the best video that I've ever seen in bass fishing. So. So great, great video. Huge shout out to Mike Gilbert for making this content for free. I mean, it's very inspirational to the guys that I know have watched this. And it's almost like you can't watch this video and not want to go fishing, which if a fishing video can do that, you know you've absolutely nailed it. One of the biggest elements and takeaways from this video was that him and Luke, they were able to get these amazing drone shot eats 
top water with a top water swim bait. Like, I, I want to say that that's the only video that has that in existence. I mean, one, there are large grade fish. That last fish in the video is an 11 and a half pounder on a drone shot eating a top water swim bait. Like, as again, as a filmer myself, like, that's something that I have wanted to capture alone for years and years and years, and he was able to do it in this video. And one of the biggest things, too, is like being able to catch these giant bass in Southern California is pretty hard. I've been there quite a few times, and they have a lot of rules and regulations that don't really make any sense. So for Gilbert to be able to make such a high-quality film on such a hard body of water to do it on it's quite an impressive feat like this is just an incredible incredible video and this is just a video that there's really nothing like it besides some of Mike Gilbert's previous works if you think it's kind of bold for me to say that this is the best bass fishing video I ever made I mean obviously I would like for you guys to leave your comments down below if there's a video that you think is better than this, I'd actually really want to know and watch it for myself because this is just one of those videos that just gets me psyched whenever I watch it to go out and go fishing. And maybe I'm just not searching in the right places, but I feel like Bass Fishing needs more videos and more creative minds like Mike Gilbert to keep pushing the envelope unless we're just going to keep making the same videos over and over again. So. If you guys want to check out the full video, I will leave a link to it up here. I will also leave a link to it down in the description below. Also check out Mike Gilbert and Working Glass Zero. He's going to have more drops of the Tyrant soon and other baits as well. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about the video and any other comments. Obviously leave it down below. And we will see you guys on the next one. Go out there and chase your dreams.